Hey everyone, I'm Kyle Kramer, the CEO of the Earth and Spirit Center, and I am joined today by two of our uh, meditation instructors, Bunny Nash and Nancy Carrington. Hello to you both. Hello. Hello. Thanks for having us here. It is it is good to be here. This is actually take two, everyone, because we we tried the first time with a shaky internet connection, so we we've recalibrated and hopefully can have a good conversation. And um, uh, Bunny and Nancy, you all have been our test pilots in some regards out there on the frontier of our of, of, of programming innovation, because historically, the Earth and Spirit Center, while we've certainly done walking meditation, we have very much not seen ourselves as, say, a yoga center or something that's that's mainly uh, devoted to kind of bodily motion in the in contemplative practice. But you all have been stretching our imaginations and helping us find our way to uh, some more integration of of movement in the meditative uh, experience. So I just wonder if either or both of you might say a word about how you've come to um, this this wedding of of bodily movement and contemplative practice. Uh, Bunny, do you want to jump in there maybe? Sure. Um, I I have um, I've found that the the moving meditation, particularly Qigong, um, has been such a wonderful complement to my sitting or my nature meditation or my walking meditation. Um, the the idea of Qigong is is to bring breath and awareness and movement together um, so that you can cultivate energy and bring the body into balance. And um, it has really proven for me to be a very soothing and settling practice. And it sort of complements some of the other things that I work with um, at the Earth and Spirit Center, stress and mindfulness, and realizing that um, mindful movement with mindful intention Soothing, gentle, slow, rhythmic movement is very naturally soothing for the brain physiologically. And so um, bringing that element into my meditation practice has has really been um, a, a positive thing for my mental health and well-being. Well, and it makes so much sense when you think about it. We're creatures built to move. And yes. uh, so if we can't incorporate meditative practice into that th that activity that we we have to and are able to do all the time every day um then then there's there's something wrong with how we how we view meditative practice yes. how, how about you nancy uh i came into the practice more from a movement point of view that i started um i had had some meditation in the past but i had never really gotten into the practice um for very long or continued with it but i started the movement with teaching Tai Chi, learning Tai Chi and then teaching it. But then I moved into Qigong because um, it offered so much more in a, a therapeutic and meditative way, I felt, that you go into your body and it gave me what I needed to be able to focus and to bring the, the meditative part internally and it it just it gave me so much more than when I sit and I feel like we sit so much as an aging person I needed to move uh that sitting you know in at desk jobs and things like that that part's over and it was I just felt it was really necessary for my health to move but then when I found I can you know move and meditate and enjoy a community and um have fun, then it it became a much, much more attractive and fulfilling practice for me. Yeah, well, you know, whatever our age, we're all aging. <laughs> and, and we I think uh, we all need to move in some form or fashion. So yeah. uh, yes, why not bring contemplative awareness to that as well? And that's what you all have done in uh, some courses that we've been offering of late at the Earth and Spirit Center. We've had a meditation in motion course for a few semesters that you all have co-taught uh, to great review uh, in uh, to the point where we had to shut down enrollment because of course we needed enough physical space for each person to move in the class and uh, there was a waiting list for folks to get in. And so uh, as a result of that, uh, just the interest level at the Earth and Spirit Center, we have with you all uh, cooked up uh, a new opportunity, which is a monthly 
Meditation in Motion group. Uh, do you all want to say a little bit about what the uh, what the hope is for for this group uh, as it kind of follows on and complements the the courses that you've taught about Meditation in Motion? I'll uh, start with that. Uh, when we teach a class, which the, was four or five weeks, we go through and do the movements. But the very last class, Bunny and I both had the best time because that we moved all the way through everything we taught, which is a great set of postures to embrace that meditative uh, pattern. But when you're stopping and going and stopping and going, it can get a bit less so. So the very last practice, we did this really um, nice, just flow through the whole set for just about the whole time of the, the last meeting. And then everybody was leaving and it's hard to remember. I mean, it's, you can't possibly remember it. So they were asking, where can we practice? What can we do? So fortunately, the Earth and Spirit Center was kind enough to say, well, we'll work to get something um, up and going. And so we have these once a month practices where we teach a tiny bit, mainly just talk through the postures to make sure they're being done correctly. And then we just flow and it, it's really nice. Well, I... and, and the nice thing about Qigong is that you can do it on any level. Um, we could have someone that has never practiced Qigong or been in past classes come in and their repetitive rhythmic movements that you can just follow along. Now, it might be hard to leave and then go practice it totally by yourself at that point, but that's why we're wanting to, to do the um, at least monthly times where we can come together um, to practice in community because that community element and sharing the... Um, the the energy and um, the connection that we create um, in the moment we're there is is a really powerful part of that meditative um, practice. Absolutely, so, I, I want to kind of hone in on two words that you mentioned there: community and practice. I mean, practice is what we always have to be doing uh, because these are these are spiritual. Um, skills, if you will, that that require uh, us to put the time in just like we would for piano or guitar or anything like that. And and we we keep getting more adept at this to the extent we're, we're willing to do that. And I, I likewise love the idea that that this is a communal practice. And the Earth and Spirit Center has long been intentional about creating, I think, what we, we call a community of communities where there's lots of opportunities to gather on a regular basis, whether that's in a class or a monthly group like this, and, um, and just uh, journey together through these uh, and with these practices. So I'm thrilled that you all are able to do this. And um, one thing to be clear about, first of all, Tai Chi, as I understand, or excuse me, Qigong, as I understand it, is fully compatible with mindfulness practice, fully compatible with uh, it doesn't require a certain belief system. So this is these are definitely practices for everyone. And likewise, um, I understand that uh, Qigong practices are for folks of all different body types and abilities. And uh, so so th these do not require kind of uh, extreme uh, fitness uh, that uh, and body contortion and things, right? Right. Absolutely. I like to think that we can really serve a population that isn't particularly served because most programs and things like that focus, no, not the meditation, but focus on the movement being to build muscle. And we don't, we, we focus on it for relief of stress, for meditative purposes, for uh, being able to increase your energy. Uh, things like that, which if there's documentation to that effect that what we're teaching has done that. Excellent. Well, again, and, and so the, the practices can be done seated. So we could have someone that that is not um, interested in or able to do a standing practice would be perfectly fine to to be able to do it seated. And um, my my daughter, um, who's, you know, in her 30s, is um, 
practices with me and she's very active and, and outgoing and camps and hikes and things, but finds that when you bring mindful intention to your, your practice at whatever age, um, it brings another element to um, the mind, body, spirit, wellness that we're hoping to cultivate. Absolutely. But just again, so grateful that that the two of you have carried this torch with us and for us at the Earth and Spirit Center. And this group, the Meditation in Motion monthly group, is something new that we're trying. So we uh, we hope that we'll we'll get uh, plenty of interested folks. And these groups are meeting now the fourth Thursday of the month. So um, from one to two thirty in the afternoon. So the next uh, we just had one um, this week on the the 25th of April when we're recording, but we'll have another one in May on the 23rd, again, from 1 to 2.30. You can register for these groups ahead of time at the um, uh, on our website, and we'll provide a link to the specific uh, course, and uh, you're able to um, uh, make a small contribution to this. You can also come and make a contribution at the uh, at the event itself. So we're, we're just wanting to welcome folks, however they find us uh, in their schedule. Um, Bunny and Nancy, thank you so much for, um, for all that you do in uh, expanding the, the meditative options at the Earth and Spirit Center. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. Yes. Thank you, Kyle.